Hi, this is Vic. In this tutorial, I'll be covering type conversion and type casting. In Java, one data type can be converted into another data type, provided they are compatible with each other. These conversions can be automatically done by the Java or they can be enforced by the programmer. So let's see them in action and uh, for that, let's create a class first. Here, right click it, new Java class and let's name it type conversion demo and uh, let's change the package com.firstlearner.programmingbasics. and change the basics packet to conversion and press finish now here is the structure of the class and let's create a main method PSVM and tab now here is our main method here we'll be writing our code before we move on let me tell you that Java is a strongly typed language meaning Java requires all the variable to be declared before using them also Java checks for type compatibility for any assignment done let's take an example for what I've said let's take an int I this is the declaration part now I is equal to let's assign something that's not compatible with the integer uh, let's assign some string uh, first learner and here as you can see Java has given an error that is the incompatible types required int and found string so in no way we can assign a string to a int so this is totally wrong and this is wrong type checking that Java does before actually compiling the source code let's first see the automatic type conversion that Java does implicitly by itself and uh, for that let's remove these and write a code for automatic type conversion let's take a byte b equal to 10 and int i so we have two variables i and b now let's say we assign b to i now here you can see i have assigned a byte value to an int when we are assigning this to the int the byte gets promoted to int and then assigned to i let's assault it and see what we got here shift F6 and see we get the same result that is 10 now let's see another example let's take a double double D and make D equal to B so again we have done a byte to double and the byte is promoted to double and let's s out this one also d and let's see what we get shift f6 and here you can see dot zero is appended to 10 this is because double is a double precision value of floating point value and it comes with a decimal so here you can see the b is promoted to double so this is how java does implicitly the type conversion this conversion is known as type promotion or widening conversion also in the automatic type conversion there is no loss of data there is no loss of data because the destination type is always large enough to store the value of the source type so now we'll be seeing the explicit type conversion let's have a double d equal to maybe 125.89 and let's assign it to an int i equal to d and here you can see java is giving an error and not automatically converting it the error is possible loss of precision required int and found double so what we need to do is explicitly cast double value into an int value now how can we do this let me show you put parenthesis and in between the parentheses you have to write int that is the type you want the double to cast in now the error has gone let's 
as audit and I and let's see what we get shift F6 and here you can see D is containing 125.89 but when we printed the I we get only the integer part that is 125 there is loss of precision as the warning said so whenever we are doing the explicit conversion either we are losing the precision value or we are losing some kind of data if it is beyond the range of the destination type now let's take another example the float one float f equals to three four five point six seven and here we are getting error because I haven't suffixed F here Java needs F to identify that this is not double and this is float because if you are using decimal and specifying nothing behind the number Java takes default as a double now let's have I equal to F and cast it to int and then s out i let's see what we get shift f6 and as you can see we are getting 345 here we have 345.67 and we have lost the precision value that is 0.67 so this is the explicit type conversion we'll be seeing a lot of explicit conversion when we jump to the class inheritance part and going beyond that the collection framework part so the explicit type conversion you can say it as a savior it will be really helpful in the advanced Java part that we'll be covering in the later tutorials and it will come in really handy but sometimes when doing explicit type casting there will be result that is quite confusing let me show you an example for that confusion conversion let's remove this part now let me pause and do some copy pasting so that I save some time so this is the code now here you can see I have taken an int with the name original value and assigned a value to 127 to it and printed it as a first value and the second variable I have taken is a byte the name is converted value and typecasted the original value and assigned to it and here uh, what I have done is incremented the original value by one by using the plus plus operator and outputted the original value and here I have again typecasted the original value after the incrementation part and assigned it to the converted value so let's see what result we get shift F6 and here you can see let me scroll it down now let's see the first value is equal to 27 this is absolutely right and the converted value is also 127 because we have assigned byte and the maximum value that a byte can take is 127 so this is perfectly right now in the second value that we have here after the incrementation we have 128 absolutely right but here you can see we are getting minus 128 and not 128 this is because bytes range is from minus 128 to 127 now when here we have incremented the value by one we got 128 which is out of the range of the byte so what happened circle the range of the byte and went back to minus 128 which is the first value that it contains minus 128 to 127 so that's why this explicit conversion can be confusing and the, the result might be obscure and something that we are not expecting so before explicitly converting a value you should be quite careful about that now the last thing that we'll be seeing is the type promotion and expressions so let's remove this part and write the code for promotion and expressions let's write byte b equal to 10 and uh, int i equal to let's say 100 
and chair ch equal to um, 9 oops single quotes 9 let's take a double double D equal to 456.78 anything you like take another double um, double D O U equals um, some expression let's say B into I plus CH minus D semicolon and let's S out it S out D O U and let's see the result shift F6 here you can see the result is a double expression uh, this is a byte and this is an end so when the expression is evaluated the byte is promoted to an end and here in this expression char is a small type and double is the higher type so char is promoted to double and when this and this expressions are evaluated this returns n and this returns double so the final result is a double and it is assigned to a double so this is completely okay now let's make some changes let's change the double data type to an int now here you can see we have an error the precision law so we have to cast it to an end the whole expression to an end uh, yep so we are done okay here we have to put them in the parenthesis now it's okay and let's see the result so here you can see this is the integer part only that it can contain and uh, there is loss of precision as per the warning now go open NetBeans and start practicing what you have been seeing make some changes and have fun with the code so this is all for now and uh, see you next time